What's up, prize fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is the prize fight between the two Korean kings of Android phones. It's a prize fight punch out between the LG G3 and the Samsung Galaxy S5. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Jessica, the People's Dole Court, associate editor Lin, ooh la la la, and you know who, ring a ling a ding tong. We'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same system. Let's get it started. Round one is designed. The LG G3 may not be metal, but this is as minimalist as you're going to get with a brushed aluminum look. Its 5.5 inch quad HD screen is begging you to make out with its insane 538 pixels per inch. And the smartest thing about this phone? No power buttons on the side or the face of the phone. Your index finger naturally falls into place here on the back side for the power, volume, and camera shutter control. Now, I normally complain about big screen phones, but this is a well thought out one and one of the most unique designs we've seen for a phone this size. Now, the Galaxy S5 looks pretty similar to the S4, sporting a 5.1 inch screen with a 432 pixel per inch density. You won't really be able to tell on their own, but side by side, LG's G3 screen has a slightly sharper look. Now, the S5 still has a plastic feel with its dimpled backside and it's lighter in weight, but Samsung played it safe instead of pushing for a fresher look. The G3 impresses us with a 5, and the Galaxy S5 gets a 4. Next round is user interface and controls. Both phones run Android 4.4 and bring their own unique feel to it. LG brings their user interface with a snappy flat design approach that's arguably the cleanest third-party Android skin out right now. You'll have to jump into the settings to see all of your options and it brings the same Android customization for apps, widgets, and home screens that you've come to expect and this really cool adjustable keyboard. Now Samsung's TouchWiz interface has made an effort to clean things up a whole lot, but a phone that can almost do everything still has trouble keeping things simple. The UI is super customizable, jumping into a settings list about twice as long is not necessarily a bad thing. There's just so much to do that most people will only scratch the surface. This one typically comes down to personal preference, but our judges give the LG G3 a 4.7 and Samsung gets a 4. So after averaging two rounds, LG leads big 4.9 to 4. Next round is features. Both phones offer 16 to 32 gigs of storage, removable batteries, and a micro SD card slot that supports up to 128 gigs of additional space. LG brings a quad-core 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor and really one of the best screens on the market today that can't be understated. Double tapping to turn your screen on and off is one of the best features on a phone that adds up over time. It also brings LG health for tracking your steps taken and calories burned. We talked about its killer rear controls and we'll get into its laser-guided camera. Yes, lasers. Now Samsung's Galaxy S5 also brings a quad-core 2.5 gigahertz processor, but stands alone as the most feature-packed phone on planet Earth. The S5 can track your steps, but it also brings non-essential features like the heart rate monitor. It's the first ever on a phone, but it works really well, and its S Health app is legit. There's a fingerprint scanner for security that still needs some work. Multi-window mode is a Samsung classic, and they were the first to bring motion gestures long before LG added their own. Plus, the S5 has a super fast charging mode if you use their charger cable. And do we mention that it's water resistant? A quick drop in the sink is no longer deadly. Now this one's no contest. The S5 gets a perfect 5 and the G3 gets a 4.7. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Web browsing on both of these displays is a treat with their large screens and both screens handle gaming, Google Play apps, and HD quality movies just fine. But let's be honest, bigger is better when you're watching media. LG brings their 13 megapixel camera that shoots 4K video with optical image stabilization and a laser guided autofocus that allows it to lock onto subjects and take a picture quickly using lasers. It's trimmed down its picture modes, but you can click on areas of a picture to bring them into focus after the pictures have been taken. Now their selfie cam allows you to control it by opening your hand and then closing it to start an automatic countdown. Now the S5 brings a 16 megapixel camera that also shoots 4K video and brings plenty of filters and features galore that don't necessarily make it the simplest interface. 
but when you compare these two cameras side by side, the G3 takes good low light shots and has a better flash, while the S5 takes pictures that have an extra level of vibrancy and richer looking overall images. Bolder screen or better pictures, you might disagree, but we're giving the edge to Samsung based on its camera performance since our phones have really become our primary cameras. The S5 takes this round with a 5 and the G3 gets a 4.7. So after averaging 4 rounds, the S5 has closed the gap and the final round that decides it all is performance. Both phones are snappy performers, but in the 3D Mark Unlimited test that tests graphics performance, the Galaxy S5 came out on top quite definitively. Now, when it came down to CNET's battery video drain test, the LG G3 lasted 11 hours and 24 minutes compared to the Galaxy S5 that squeezed out 15 hours and 18 minutes of juice. And that's a huge difference. The S5 gets a perfect five one more time, and the LG G3 gets a 4.3. So let's average out all five rounds, and LG took a strong lead early, then Samsung clawed its way back in the final three rounds, but it just wasn't enough, and the LG G3 takes this slobber knocker 4.7 to 4.6 and is your prize fight winner. These phones are without a doubt two of the best Android has to offer and the battle for prize fight supremacy wages on. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight. Whoopee!